Mutt had a uh, quite complex surgery. He had uh, both sides uh, high tibia osteotomy. So initially, Ma Mutt came and see me with bow legs, and then we had managed to straighten her, his leg out. Now, straightening legs out is a relatively common operation, and usually we do one leg at a time uh, before Mutt because the deformity is, is quite bad. And Matt is, you know, very young. He want to go back to work, so he want to have the surgery once instead of have the surgery twice, and have recovery once instead of twice. So we come up to the conclusion that we will straight both of his legs at the same time. I asked to stay back a little bit older in one go, uh, so there's less time off work, um, and just because of the alignment side of things, I've got both legs done. They're both straight. I could start from the beginning. From the beginning, uh, the physio lab uh, worked. When, they, when my bandages were, were removed on the I think first, first or second day of the operation, um, you notice where the, the where the swelling was, you know, where, where, where it was getting legs being trapped by the bandage. I also put the physio lab on, and then that, that with one 30 minute session, it ironed out that, um, that that lump, and then you can see straight away that it was, you know, what it could do. I think it made a big difference because um, usually after operation, when the leg really swelled up. It really affects the range of movement. Yeah. You won't be able to bend the leg as much, you, yeah. you know. So therefore, yeah. you know, the, you won't be as confident to, you know, to use your leg. You know, you won't be as confident to do the exercise with the physio. And I think yeah. that had made a difference. I was walking uh, well with crutches after after two weeks, and, and within three weeks, I was I was off my crutches and actually walking. So that that was all down to the fact that after two weeks, the swelling was gone, and I could start see me building strength into my legs. Before we using the physio lab S1. Uh, recovery is a little bit longer, uh, especially it's down to the swelling after the surgery. And what we're essentially doing for this surgery is we are breaking Martin's leg and actually straightening it again. So it is almost similar to uh, when you have a car crash, you have a fracture to your tibia. And actually, you had it on both legs. So that's that, you know, we would, I would not expect you to be able to walk properly for at least six to eight weeks. Yeah. But you know, now we're meeting at three months down the line, you yeah. back to work, which yeah. is you know absolutely amazing. And I think this is down to um, re rehabilitation. And the sooner that you know you can start walking, the sooner you can do the exercise, and the sooner we can reduce that swelling, the sooner you can get, get recovery, you know, the sooner you can recover. And I think in, in this context, you know, the, the Physio Lab S1 have really made a big difference in terms of reducing the swelling, reducing the pain, and yeah. to enable us to be able to deliver this to Mark.